Next one in, please. Hi, how are you today? Ow, 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 Hi, my name is Garrett, and I will be performing a monologue from Julius Caesar. <clears throat> Sounds good. Whenever you're ready. Ha! Ha 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 
A setting tells us when and where the monologue is taking place. It probably wouldn't make a lot of sense to yell our monologue if our setting was in a library during the afternoon. But that might change if we're at an arcade at night. Why is a very tricky question. We're asking a much deeper question here. Why does the character want this? This sort of goes hand in hand with our what. You want good grades more than you want a later bedtime. You may want to eat more than you want to play games. Depending on how badly your character needs this, you may want to choose different tactics. Tactics are what you use to get what you want. It gives your monologue life. I could ask my mom, can I borrow the car? Or I could ask her like, can I borrow the car? Maybe I might ask, can I borrow the car? I could probably try, mom, can I borrow the car? Depending on how I want this, I can change my tactic to get what I want. Now that you know the basics, let's try it out on a real monologue. In this monologue, a kid is looking for their friends while playing hide and seek and can't seem to find them. Let's see if you can point out the five W's that we can find in this monologue. The first question that we want to ask ourselves is, who? Who's talking? Who are they talking to? Well, you can most likely determine that it's a group of kids, and the character who's talking is also a kid. Well, how can you tell? You can look at some of the things that they mention, like playing a different game, or playing tag outside. You can even look at them playing video games. These are all clues to let us know who is talking and who they're talking to. Since we know that they're not talking to a group of adults, most likely, we know how they would talk, too. How do you talk to your friends? Maybe if you're frustrated like the character is in this monologue, you wouldn't be overly polite. You might sound frustrated or a little upset. That brings us to the next question that we can ask. What? What's happening right now? Well, if you look inside the scene here, you can see what exactly is going on. The character says that they've been looking for ages. They've counted 200, and they've been doing it for a really long time. Well, we can guess what they're doing, and they're playing a game of hide and seek with their friends. Unfortunately, the game isn't going as well as they hoped. But just by looking at some of the words, we can tell what's happening in our scene. This brings us to where and when. Where is this all taking place? What time of day is it? What's it like outside? What's the weather? Well, there aren't too many clues about all of this, but we can get some information from our monologue. The first thing we can look at is where. It says here that they could play tag outside. Well, wouldn't you think that they would already be outside playing tag? Or hide and seek for that matter? But no, they're most likely indoors playing already. What about when? Well, there's not too much information about what time of day it is. It could be nighttime, it could be the afternoon, it could be the day. But that's the beauty about being an actor. You get to choose what type of day it is. It could be sunny. It could be rainy. Maybe that's why they're inside playing hide and seek. All that comes from your imagination as the actor. The final question we're going to ask ourselves is why? Why is all of this happening? Why is the character searching for their friends? Why is the character frustrated that they can't find them? How long have they been looking? You can see here that they've been using different tactics to get their friends to come out. They've offered the option of playing a different game, playing tag outside, or having a snack and playing video games. Even giving their friends the opportunity to play their game first. When we're performing a monologue, we always want to try different ways to convince the character who we're speaking to to do what we want. These are what we call tactics. Just come out. I can't find you, okay? I give up. What more do you guys want from me? 
You see, the characters started out being nice, offering to play different games, or even sharing their video games with the rest of their friends. But then, you can hear they get a little bit more desperate. What more do you want from me? I give up. Just come out. I can't find you. The character is chosen to surrender. Instead of offering and bribing to still get their friends to participate, instead they're ready to just call it quits. So, these are just some basic tips to help us understand how to better perform a log.